Hi, my name is Mr Jolly uh, and we're putting together a video just to give you a sense of what it's like inside Fitzroy Mark School for those of you who haven't been in our school very often. Obviously we're outside at the moment but we're going to begin the tour at the front of the building just to show you around, to give you a sense of what it's like. Okay, so we've just come into the student entrance of school. We can't show it to you as it will be in September because there's building work going on at the moment. But what you'll do is you'll walk into school here and we're now on the front corridor of the building. And this is a corridor um, that you'll get used to very, very quickly. So down here we've got student services. Uh, we've got the resources room here where um, teachers will go to get their photocopying done. Um, it's a science room on this side. This heads out across into the quad, into the other side, and I'll show you that from the other side when we come back. Uh, we've also got the medical room, it's coming up over here, the staff room. You won't be going into the staff room, but that's where a lot of teachers will be. Um, coming up on this side, we've got the school library, so when uh, in Year 7 you will have timetabled lessons in there for reading lessons. Um, so nice and easy to find, we can, it's a bit dark in there, but we can probably have a little look in. No, it's locked. I'll know that for future. Um, but coming down, we've got the medical room on the uh, right-hand side here. So if some of you are feeling unwell, you might spend some time here. And this is student services. This is a really important place um, for you all to get to know. Um, if there's anything going on at all, you'll spend some time here. But the majority of the time that you'll get into student services is via this hatch. This hatch is always manned. So if you've forgotten something, um, if you need to get in contact with your parents, um, if you're unsure about anything at school or if you just get lost during the school day, this is the place to be and, uh, and the ladies in here will be able to help you. Continuing down on this corridor, we start getting into um, English classrooms. You see it's nice and light outside. Um, and we'll probably stop around here, but just uh, toilets at the end of the corridor. So this is the front corridor of the school. Okay, so we'll continue round here into the English corridor. So this is going to take us down out onto the main playground, but also out onto the Year 7 playground and the art block, which is what I'm going to show you now. So here on the left we've got different numbered English rooms, um, and you'll definitely have some lessons in here. But through these double doors we'll take a left, and that will take us out onto the, the Year 7 playground, which you've probably heard about. So this is a place where for the, for the whole of your first year of Fitzroy Mark when you're in Year 7, it is just used by you and people in your year group. There might occasionally be a couple of students walking through, but it is largely just for you. So at lunchtime and at break time, all of this space will be with you so you can sit with your friends, you can read, you can have play and conversations, that kind of stuff. But this is a space just for you next to the um, next to the art block. So if we look in here, it's locked up at the moment, obviously because there are large bits of the school that are closed down, but all of your art lessons will be big art rooms in here, big enough to display lots and lots of work in there and you'll see this very quickly when you get to school. But out here at the back of the um, Year 7 playground, we now open out onto the playground and onto the fields. So as you get older, and you don't have to be in the Year 7 playground, I think for the first few weeks you do and then you're definitely allowed out. But this is where at lunchtime there'll be lots of football games going on. Um, here is the picnic area, so there'll be students who are eating their packed lunches out here. It's not normally taped off, it just is at the moment. You can see over there we've got some table tennis tables. So at lunchtime you're able to borrow table tennis bats and balls to be able to play um, to play with your friends. And then out, a lot of your PE will take place on this. You can see we've got the netball posts up at the moment, but tennis is done here out on the playground. Um, and down onto the field, obviously, where football, rugby, athletics and cross country is going to be done. Right, we'll head back into school from the playground, so we're now joining the other end of that corridor that we started on um, just a couple of minutes ago before we went off onto the Year 7 playground. So again, this is a continuation, we've got the English rooms on this side. Uh, we'll take a left now and we'll head back um, towards the main hall on through the languages corridor, the modern languages corridor. So if we go down this way, nice and airy, and each side has got language rooms uh, and some teacher offices, so ML6, ML5 and so on down this corridor. Uh, some of you will have 
Uh, form rooms eventually in this part of the school, and this is what these lockers are for. Students will have lockers near their form room. Uh, when you come to a lesson, the expectation will be that you'll stand neatly at the side and your teacher will welcome you and let you into the lesson so we don't have too much argy-bargy going on in the corridors. Um, some smaller classrooms on this side for sixth form students, and you'll worry about that a bit further on. But as we continue down, uh, this pointed out on the other side, this is the quad, so I showed you that a minute ago from the other side, but we'll keep going and we're now getting towards uh, the, the gyms and out towards the history block. So we've got the school hall, which is out of action at the moment, but eventually we'll be allowed back in there, so if you come through this way you can get into the school hall from this way, and then on the other side we've got our school gyms and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so we'll continue. The, the boys' gym is down this side. The OP lessons and boys' changing is down that side. Um, if we keep going down here, um, so we're running along the back of the hall at the moment. The hall is directly behind this wall on the right-hand side. But down here is the, the girls' gym and the girls' changing rooms. So there's, there's toilets and changing rooms down here. There's a PE office as well. Those of you who are doing PE um, outside the lessons as well will be down here quite a lot. We keep going through these doors. I'll quickly walk up here and show you this bit. So this is of another internal quad within the school where we've got the history building. Now some of you will definitely have form rooms in here whilst you're in year seven. But this is the history block. There's four history rooms in there and an office for the history teachers. And this is our music department and RE as it says. So in there, there's two music rooms and a couple of classrooms that are used but what we'll do is we'll show you back round this way, down towards the sports hall. <coughs> so I know some of you might have used these sporting facilities different times through your primary school years or if you're involved in some of the clubs that use bits of Mark facilities. Um, this is also a space at lunchtime that students will sit and eat and have their lunch. Um, so we've got a few picnic tables around here for groups of students to sit. We'll come out in a minute back onto the other side of the school field and our new building. Um, but for, for now I'll just show you inside the sports hall. It may be a little bit dark in there, but we'll do our best. So the gyms are on that side, just to try and give you an idea of where we're at at the moment. But this is the main sports hall school. There's a gym up there with some fitness equipment in it. Um, but this is set up at the moment for the students to do some PE during their lessons while they're in school at the moment. Which fortunately means you can see that there's a variety of sports that you'll be able to do in here. Basketball, netball, uh, badminton, the whole range of things that you'll be doing your lessons in here. What we'll do now is we'll go back outside and I'll show you the field and the new building. This is definitely the cheesiest entrance in one of these videos, but this is our brand new building that only opened a few months ago. So you can see where we are, we're on the school field. Um, and in this building we have uh, technology um, and science classrooms, so there's food technology and textiles in here, as well as our main school canteen. So when it comes to the, uh, the time for you to be getting your lunch, the queues are held outside, and um, as has been mentioned on some of the other videos we put together for the first few weeks you will be allowed in a little bit earlier but year groups queue with their year group so you won't be having to get into a queue with bigger students people are in their own year group queues so we'll show you this bit in a minute but on the right hand side is our technology department uh, and our maths and geography tower up here but this is what is called the east block this is the brand new building that you've seen going up over the last year um, and has got the, the canteen two ways, two staircases up to the tower. There's one up here and one other just around the corner. But here 
here we've got, there's a computer room there, another one here, but if we walk through, I will show you the technology area. So there's always classrooms around about, there's the other um, set of stairs, um, toilets here, another classroom, but the end of this corridor is the entrance to the technology area, so we'll have a quick look in there. So in here we've got a range of technology rooms where you'll be doing a variety of other activities and there's another technology a computer room down the end. So we're not going to go into all of these classrooms but just a little look around so you can see this is where these lessons, the technology lessons, um, as you get through to GCSE the engineering and construction lessons will all take place in this part of the school. Come back out the same door that we came in. Now, I don't know how clear it's going to be on this video, but we are now at a place that we have already videoed. Um, coming round here, this is the history block, and this is the RS block that we showed you from the other side. So we'll continue to walk through. There's probably one other place that we can. Uh, show. It's going to get a little bit noisy, but we were here before with the history block and the RS block. Again, I've said this a number of times, the, the building work will be completed by the time um, we're not too far into year seven, but if we go through here, we have to see where the sick form has spent most of their time, and the side alleyway that a number of you will use to come into school. side alleyway, side gate, and if we just look down here, see there's the tower, and just in the background behind the tower is the new building that we showed you from the other side. So hopefully that will give you an idea of Fitzwai Mark. It really isn't that difficult to find your way around when you're here, but hopefully this has given you a sense of what it's like. <laughs> 